Oh, shit. Hmm, that was weird. Better go check it out for science. rock species and I discovered it man this scientist stuff is easier than I thought what's his prognosis nurse it's not good doctor you're the only one that can save him I'll do what I can Donnie, what are you doing in my house? It's too early for visitors. Never too early, Doc. I've been here almost all morning. Is that so? Donnie, how did you get in? Oh, you left a window open. I see that. Anyway, Donnie, it's good to see you. What brings you by? I'm, uh, I'm expecting a call. At my house, from my phones? 
Yeah, it, it hasn't rung all morning. Well, except for the one phone call. Um, it was about your prescription. They said it's ready. Um, but I told them that you didn't need a prescription since you're a doctor. That may be true, Donnie. But even doctors need prescriptions. Sometimes I write my own. No, I, I had to give the number of my dad, and my dad doesn't like me. Ooh. Donnie, are they still on vacation? Seems like it's been a while. Yeah, it, it's been about six years, actually. Um, I called the hotel a few months ago, and they said they'd never heard of them. They must have given me the wrong hotel, though, and they said they would be back later. Donnie, time isn't real. It is a construct by the man. Big clocks down in Washington. Even my watch? Especially your watch, Donnie. They're probably listening to this conversation right now. Doc, I, I found something today. I, I think it's a major breakthrough. This is another turd, Donnie? I'm real tired of your crap. Each week I get packages just like this from you in the mail. My compost pile is really starting to bug my neighbors. You know, I can't do this in city limits. Well, relax, Doc. It's, it's not a turd. Well, today at least. Okay. Then what is it? What did you bring me? Doc, picture this. You're in my shoes. You're walking through the forest. You're conducting your research. Forest? What were you doing in the forest? Not important. I was knee deep in mud, battling off snakes and woodland, other woodland creatures and the damn chipmunk. And I hear a loud whoosh. It sounds like a jet flying over. Donnie, is any of this true? You do have scat samples for me, don't you? Calm down. I have scat samples, but they're from my own personal collection. Well, Donnie, what was it? Jet, I presume? Even better. Look at this. I think it's a geode. I'm gonna call it cloud eye. Donnie, cloud eye's not a word. And geodes come from the ground. Everybody knows that. Well, maybe this is one that comes from the sky. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe, Donnie. Interesting, Donnie. It's unlike anything I've ever seen before. Although, it smells like scat. It's not. It was in my bag with the others. Hmm. Hmm. Well, Donnie, judging by the shape, size, weight, color, and taste, it's definitely a meteorite. Are you sure it's a meteorite? I thought it was a geode. What should we do? Donnie, the only thing we can and must do now is science. This scat sample that you've brought could be a meteorite. Could be a geode. The only way to figure it out, science. We have to do that now. Let's go to my lab. Post haste. But I thought you weren't allowed at school anymore. Donnie, it's summertime. School's out. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, we gotta go. Why are we at the school lab again? Donnie, they knew I'd return one day, and this one's the only safe spot I could think of. This is my home lab. Okay, so. Sorry about the mess. I rented it out to my neighbor. He's a bit of a farmer. Let's see. Ah, uh, yes. Here are my things. See? Just as I left it. Science still going on. Experiments still experiment. Although it may have been years since I last been here. Looks like only a few things have changed. Good girl. Donnie, we need to run some tests. On your cloud eye. Here. Don't worry, I still have it. Let's see, Donnie. So what do you think, Mr. Rosnid? I'm a doctor, goddammit. I didn't spend eight years at the Dr. Dinosaur School to be called Mr. Come on, Donnie. You know better. Only his kids can call him that. Well, and I guess his doctor. Actually, Johnny, my doctor calls me Doc. Hmm, huh. never knew. My name's Donnie, by the way. That's what I said, Donnie. Hey, Doc, what you making over here? Oh, that? Well, I'm simply synthesizing a fossilized scan sample. Uh, let's figure out what the little fella ate before he died in the last ice age. <sighs> Donnie, I wouldn't hunt that stuff for too long. That'll knock you out faster than the back of my hand. Trust me. I know from experience. Unfortunately, you can't have it for your collection. It's all mine. Hmm. 
That's too bad then. Well, maybe next time. So what's with the rock, Doc? Well, Johnny, it's unlike anything I've ever seen before. It's very interesting. Doc, it's it's Donnie. Hmm. Hmm. Is that so? Uh, anyway, your sample structure is completely dumbfounded. It's got me something, Donnie. I don't know exactly what it is, but I know it's not from this earth. It looks like something new you've discovered. Maybe Cloud Eye is yours after all. Um, was there any more of this stuff? Of the Cloud Eye? Yeah, that's just a small piece. There was a huge one that landed in the forest. Good. We'll need to get more for testing. Any scientists in here? Bo, you came home early. You caught up and scat again? That was you. Or was that you? Son of a bitch. What you looking at, scat man? Is this another one of Donnie's samples? Actually, yes. What animal did this one come from? You? No, it came from the sky. So it's bird poop. No, it's not poop. Take a look, what do you think? I think we need to go look at this out in the field. Can you take me there? Sure I can. I made some markers along the way. Bo, are you coming? Nah, I gotta get going. Space rocks really aren't my thing, but uh, I'll catch up with you guys later. That works. You know where to find us. Donnie, take me to your space rock. I claim this rock for all of mankind. Donnie, are you sure you marked your path? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I used some sticks and some leaves and mm. a rock to yeah. mark it. Donnie, there are sticks and leaves and rocks all over this forest. Um, what about the rock? You said there was a rock? Yeah, I mean, it's part of nature, Doc. If it wants to be found, it will be found. Yeah, let's hope. You know what? This reminds me of that scouting trip we took. I mean, you remember the time when I got hung upside down? Yeah, it was right after I found this big moose turd. It was four or five pounds. Beautiful specimen. But the other scouts, they made a trap, and, you know, one thing led to another, and yeah. the next I knew, my, up, I was up in a tree. Donnie, I don't remember that. I'm, I'm very sweaty right now. It's hotter than shit. What? You complaining, old man? Donnie, I'm old enough to be your father. Donnie, Donnie, come on, come back to Earth. Come on, come on, focus on me. We gotta find that rock. Sorry, D Dr. Rosnid. <laughs> yeah, come on. Donnie, you said this thing fell from the sky? Yeah, you know, I was over by the creek and I was collecting yeah. some samples and, you know, I just looked up and I saw this big white light and it was <laughs> hit somewhere over there. Donnie, what are you doing in the forest? You know, geologists do their best work in canyons and caves. You know, I thought you might say that, but I figured no one ever comes out here and searches, so there must be some pretty good stuff. I guess so. Hmm. Well, I mean, they, they pay me some pretty good money to teach you kids, but I guess I can only go so far. Yeah, well, you're probably right, but... Donnie, I think we've lost your path. No, it's right over there. Donnie, come back. Donnie, there's nothing here. It landed right there. Someone else must have saw it and 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 stolen my cloudite. Donnie, there's nothing here. I swear it was right there. Donnie, you brought me out in the woods to show me a hole. 
No, I brought you out here to show you the cloud eye. Why would I make this up? Hmm. Oh. Oh. Field work. That's why I went back to teaching in the first place. Those animal bashers must have stolen it. It was right here. Yeah, well, that may be so, but with your sample back to the lab, there should be enough for further analysis. Let's uh let's get out of the seat, shall we? Sounds good, Doc. Donnie, it was right here, I promise. Dr. Nid, you lost it. No, 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 no. No, I didn't. It's, it's, I left it here. Donnie, it was right here. It's, it's, it's... Dr. Nid, where is it? No, 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 no. it was... It's, Maybe know, Tyrannosaurus it's... Turtle took it. No, he's not a part of this. Leave him out. Ah, yeah, dang it, Donnie. Donnie. The turtle couldn't take it. He's too of small. Of course not. I mean, look, he doesn't even have pockets. He, where would he put it? In his shell? No, 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 no. He... We have to find it. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe the... Bo took it. It was right here. Guys, there's something going on out there. What do you mean? I mean, birds are turning into dinosaurs. Where's my rock, punk? I didn't mean to take your rock, oh, punk. We need to destroy the hands of the criminal. He was caught red-handed. No, Donnie, shut up. What did you say? Thief! Shh, shh, Donnie. Thief! Quiet, quiet. Donnie, knock it off. We have bigger problems to worry about. The birds are morphing into dinosaurs. Oh, shit. Dinosaurs? Really? Yes, really. This isn't a joke. We'll have to do more experiments. Donnie, give me that sample. Okay, Doc. Hey, that's my only sample. That's all I have. First my parents, now this. Donnie, they're, they're not dead, gone, or whatever. We'll figure it out, don't worry. It's fine. Ah, it burns. Ah. Put that down. Stop that. Donnie, more. Thank you. Donnie, it's not stable. We can't mess with it like that. Donnie, let the chemicals react. Give it some time. Don't tell me how to science. I didn't teach you that. Well, here's what I know. This rock of yours, something. It's not of this earth. See, told you it was from the sky. Sure it is, bud. Actually, from space. Maybe space site's a better name then. What do you mean? I mean, it came from space, so... Simply put, it contains elements uh, that are not from any known asteroid belts or earthly surface. It truly is a new discovery. That's great and all, but what about the dinosaurs, guys? What about that? Yes, well, it does seem to contain a new element. It's, uh, has properties similar to the atmosphere during the Jurassic Age. Uh, nitrogen, carbon, something I can't identify. Somehow, it's causing these dinosaurs to appear. Not just appearing, they're turning into them. Their bodies are all going like this. No. Are you okay? There is that theory, though. That birds evolved from dinosaurs. They do share a common ancestor. You mean, you mean that one I came up with? The theory about reverse evolution? Actually, yes. That is precisely what I believe is going on. 
This element, according to my calculations, is causing birds to devolve back into dinosaurs. Carry the five. I guess even a blind squirrel finds a nut. So, we have aliens here now? Not aliens. Oh. Dinosaurs. Regardless of what these things are, we gotta... We better figure out what's going on out there. Can we leave? I need a break from all the science stuff. I need to use a little scientist room. Donnie, please be professional. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I told you. Hurry, everyone back inside. We're dead. We're all dead. Oh my God. What's gonna happen to my collection? Donnie, knock it off. God damn. <laughs> my collection will ever get to be in a museum. Donnie, it's fine. We'll be fine. No one will ever get to enjoy my research. My passion, my... Donnie, slow down. Everything's gonna be fine. Donnie, the meteorite, it's gone. Not again. The sample, it's dissolved, it's not here anymore. It's, it's not here, it's not here. It's gone, it's, it's dissolved, it's not here. It's not here, it's not here. Maybe if I drink this, I can be with the Cloudite forever. It's not here. Donnie, it's are not you here. sure you should? It's gone, it's not here, it's not here. Doc, I don't feel so good. Well, that's not good. No, but it's not. Gonna do anything, Doc? I'm not that kind of a doctor. Jesus, this is real. Real enough to be killed. Donnie, you feeling okay? Quite fine, actually. So the raptor's dead then? Looks like he punctured his primal artery. Maybe his lung. Hmm. Quite good. Donnie, you, you got blue on you. Are you, are you. are you feeling okay? Yes, I believe the glutamate and the serotonin have allowed my neuroreceptors to fire at an alarming rate. Uh, it's a bit overwhelming, really. Mm. What? This is something I said? Donnie, just keep me posted on any side effects, okay? I brought this here. This meteorite contained the same trace amounts of chemicals that allow metamorphosis between caterpillars and butterflies. It's quite remarkable, really. Some fascinating research. Essentially, it's turning the insect into a pulp of life-giving cells that created a new life form. Beauty of nature, I guess. I believe that the same thing is happening with these birds. The chemicals on this meteorite create an instant metamorphosis between bird and raptor. The chemicals are reversed in polarity. Uh, in, and they're also in much higher concentrations uh, than they would normally be on Earth. All My colleagues, what we have here, as you can see, are raptors. Isn't that whole birds came from raptors thing just a theory? Bo, it looks like we inadvertently proven that to be true. 
We certainly have, Dr. Rosnick. We certainly have. I think we need to get out of town. It's not safe here anymore. I second that idea. Well, what are we waiting for then? Well, I just need to gather a few things. It'll be the only moment. How long do you think these chemicals will affect me, Doc? I don't know, Donnie. To be honest with you, I don't really know. A few hours, a few days. We did have a lot, but I don't know. How many do you think are out there? Looks like a couple. You think this is a localized incident? It's too early to tell. We can't go back to the Jurassic Cage. Cavemen didn't do too well from what I remember. Actually, it was the Cretaceous, uh, and cavemen didn't exist at that time. Dinosaurs actually ruled the Earth for millions of years before humans came along. Humans have actually only been the dominant species for a small sliver in the recognized time that we have known the Earth to be alive. Thanks, Dr. Grant. So, I only saw two of them out there. Now's as good a time as any to go. He's right. Let's grab what we can and get out of here. Doc, you can't take all that. How about you pick one thing? Donnie, it's, it's all or nothing. Just leave this, leave all this here. All right, let's roll. <laughs> Looks like those two are gone. I think now's a good time to go. We can take my truck, it's in the east lot. We can just cut through the woods and be there in a few minutes. Are you crazy? It's never gonna work. Guys, Donnie, now's not the time. All right, Doc, so what about your car? No, oh, well, that's not gonna work. On my salary, I can't afford a car. Uh, but Mother Nature did give me everything I need, right here. Guys, my, my truck's right over there. Fine, but this time I'm driving. Last time you drove, we ended up in a cornfield surrounded by the cops. Plus, you only got one arm. Fair enough, but I was only chasing a noble steed. Donnie, Bo's driving. Just keep your eyes peeled. Great, now the military's here. Easy guys, we need to do the talking. What's your business here? We're just trying to get out of town. Surprised y'all are still here. The chemical spilled down at the plant. It was mandatory evac. No, a chemical leak, no, no. There's dinosaurs back there. No, we found this rock. Better hand that thing over. Shit, now what do we do? We better think of something quick. Those guys are probably reading in for backup already. Donnie, 
Why'd you have to go and pull that out? Now we got the military after us. Don't blame me. You're the crazy man talking about raptors. They deserve to know what's really going on. Yeah, I figured they already knew. Come on, Donnie. I thought that stuff made you smarter. It only affects certain parts of my brain, I guess. Where the hell am I headed anyways? We just gotta keep heading west. It'll take us out of town. Donnie, where's that map I loaned you? It was an antique. My grandfather gave it to me. And if that's blocked off, then what? We plow through it. Simple as that. You find that map yet? Bo, watch out! Shit! Jesus. You guys okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Are you okay? Huh? I'll be alright. The Prius won't though. Can't yeah. handle a hit from a whopper like this. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. Yeah, she smoke. Pro she probably told him. Where are you all headed anyway? We were just trying to find a way out of town. Well, you don't want to go that way. There's a, uh, there's dinosaurs back that way. Yeah, there's some dinosaurs back that way too. Well, well, fellas, I was thinking about heading to the high school. You guys interested in joining? Yeah, if it's raptor free, we'll go. Well, it's about as raptor free as any place I imagine right now. Sounds like a plan. Well, I got some gear in the truck up here. The back here. Yep, I think this will work. Let's load it up. Sounds good. I appreciate the lift. There you are. Way out here. It looks like one of my experiments. We've only got the one gun. I had more, but there's a running on my way out the door. Hey, hey guys, this is Francis. He's coming with us. Francis. Yeah. Francis. Francis. Good to meet you. I, I appreciate the lift. Well, sounds like they knew about the Raptors. Yep, shift's done in two hours, we can get out of here. The Raptors, they broke into my backyard. They killed my wife, my son. The only reason I got away is I slipped inside to grab cheese for the burgers. Oh wow, I'm so sorry to hear that. I shouldn't have been so stupid. Our cow was acting funny and I, I just should have stayed with them. I should have been with them. You didn't know, Francis. I'm sure you did all you could. All I could do was nothing. I just stood there. The raptors tore my family apart like rag dolls. I only snapped out of it when one of them, when I heard one of them roar from the living room, grabbed my knife, took that sucker out real quick. Francis, you sure this school of yours is safe? Thick brick walls? Thick doors? Yeah, I think we should hold okay. Plus, I can't imagine it'll be too long before the military comes and starts cleaning things up. No need to sign in. It's summertime. Besides, I don't think anyone's going to be checking for a while anyway. I was just following standard procedure, that's all. Man, I haven't been in a high school in a long time. Since I graduated, really. Was that by choice or court ordered? By choice, I hope. The gun. Where's the gun? Looks like it got left in the truck with all the ruckus. I don't think that was the best time to go look either. Besides, you're not supposed to bring a gun on school grounds anyway. Can it? So you're telling me we're carrying in all this ammo with no gun? Gentlemen, gentlemen, calm down. We'll be fine. We've got plenty of grenades. We'll just have to settle for it. And a pitchfork combat. <laughs> Gym teacher, 
I must ask, before we get any further, do you have a shower, bathroom, eye wash station, anything that an old man like me can use? Doc, this is a school. We've got bathrooms and eye wash stations. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We even have a shower if that's what you prefer. Mm -hmm. The one thing we don't have is a bidet, if that's something you're used to. Doc, did you forget your diapers at the lab? Need me to change you? Donnie, no, no. I'm not sure if the main ones are unlocked, but there's probably one down near the office. And Doc, if there's a window, don't use your hand to break it. Thanks, stupid. Jesus, that's how you did that? I thought you just stuck your hand in the garbage disposal again. Well, somebody didn't want to cooperate for the experiment. Don't you ever, ever hurt my precious boy again. Face it, Doc. I'm the only precious boy you'll ever need. Hey, when you two are done with your little reunion, we can head to the gym. Doc, you can catch up with us shortly. Bathroom's that way. Thank you, gym teacher. You've been very helpful. Keep it together. Just keep it together? I didn't know we brought a penguin with us. Maybe we should just feed him to the dinosaurs. I heard that! Then who would watch Tyrannosaurus Rex? He already said I couldn't watch him. But if I did, I would turn him into a vicious predator. Well, probably for the best then. We've got enough vicious predators around here. Let's go. Francis, how long have you been teaching here? Six years, give or take. I hate gym class. I hate running. I hate pretty much all exercise. Yeah, I can kind of tell. Maybe if you pay a little more attention. In gym class, that mammoth wouldn't be so big on your shirt. Hey, he's proportional. Just like me. If you say so, pal. Walking down the street just the other day, washing my hands for science. Okay, okay, it's morning, the birds are chirping, and a cool fog drifts over the meadow, where our heroes slowly emerge. Action. <clears throat> Doth morning sun have not a wink of sleep nestled in her breast? If for not many brave men, my heart doth beat no more. Do you even know what doth means? This isn't Shakespeare. I know, it's my senior project. I have not doth time for ignorance. So, uh, you guys want me to start the smoke now, or...? Smoke? There's no smoke in this scene. The fog, sharp tooth? It's sharp tooth. Like in that little kid dinosaur movie? Are you even allowed to use that? You said you got a permission slip. I also said you helped a little on this project. Everything's alive. So, no smoke? Yes, smoke. Okay, everyone, let's run this again. Where's my axe? I'm 
supposed to have an axe. Budget cuts. I'll find you something else backstage. Hey, guys. Did you hear that old uh, Bobby got 10 days of ISS just for vandalizing the boys' bathroom? You're joking. No. He needs to be here for the show. I know. I'm sorry. I realize that. It's in like six hours. No, I'm sorry. Rewrites. Every damn day, rewrites. And no more dinosaur names, too. You said you liked it. Where is my axe? Dolph haveth no axe. Taylor, what's taking so long? I'll go check on him. Good one, Taylor. Now bring me my axe, or sword, or hammer. I don't really care. I need some armaments before I go into battle. Quit joking around, you guys. You guys, I've got it. We change it from the 1600s to the 3600s, and we name it the land after time. Also, did Taylor make that to the raptor thing? It looks really real. Looks like we're raptor free. We should probably pull our supplies together. Yeah, let's see what supplies we got. Yo, hey, Doc. We have a situation. Obviously, you've seen the raptors back there. This isn't really that much. Well, I grabbed what I had at the house. You had all these at your house? A man's prepared for anything. Smart. If you're so prepared, then why'd you only have one rifle? Hey, listen, buddy. When you've got a tool shed out by your escape vehicle, you're not going to just walk into a raptor-infested house and grab your guns. So it looks like the army put up a barrier, but I don't think it's going to work. When the army set up a barrier, no one got through. I mean, the army's full of people like you, so there's not really a lot of confidence there. Watch this, Cat Man. What's the master plan, then? Where do we go from here? Grenades will come in handy, that's for sure. Those grenades will come in handy, sir, if you want to blow off your hand. Hey, it's still there. Well, Doc, Donnie, you guys should stay here and make sure the school's secure. Don't worry, Pop. I've got you. Dr. Rosin is fine. Bo and I are going on a little field trip. Ready, Francis? Hell yeah. That's how I got those superpowers for 24 hours. I was invisible. That was a pretty good story, Doc. Can we do it again? No one could see me. I don't think I could recreate the process, being as it's uh, tricky. Tricky? Tricky <laughs> is the word. So, Doc, how you, uh, how you holding up? Well, Donnie, I got a fresh pair of pants under my belt, so uh, I'd say I'm doing okay. How are, how are you doing? I'm doing okay, I guess. I guess I'm just... I just feel different. Mm. Mm. Donnie, I remember when I was your age, my body was going through changes. It was one summer, I remember. No, no, Doc, Jesus, not that. That's not what I meant. Yeah, but it was a good story. It was a good story, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, I meant... I, I just feel different ever since I drank those chemicals. Donnie, Donnie, Donnie. You drank a lot of chemicals. You'll be fine, give or take a couple of days. Back to your regular self. What if we don't make it a couple more days, Doc? What if Bo and Francis, what if, what if they get eaten? What if, what if the Raptors get them? What are we gonna do then? Let's hope it doesn't come to that, Donnie. We'll be fine. What was that? I don't know, Donnie. We gotta get out of here. Quick, Doc, in here.
All clear. Roger that. Where are we? Buddy of mine. He's one of those doomsday nuts. So I figure we'll have plenty of supplies. And I do want to decide the word nut. He's probably got a couple cameras and guns on us right now. I'm starting to judge your choice of friends. Oddly enough, he used to be the school counselor. That's fitting. Tommy, are you here? Not a very good prepper if he just leaves his door open for scavengers. Raptors must have already got him. Think they're following us? Probably. So what? We're just supposed to sit around, light a few cigarettes, and wait for the raptors to get here? I wish. This is my last one. Great. So what do we do now? Let's get in, get some gear, and get out of here. You better have a plan, Donnie. Stay quiet. It'll go past. It doesn't know we're in here. We gotta do something, we gotta get out of here. Do you want me to send Tyrannosaurus Rex to check for us? No, we need it. Right, you're coming around. I like that. We still have to make him a vicious predator. Listen, Donnie, your plan is different from my plan. Donnie. Did you get it? Yeah, Doc. I got it. I really hope I didn't land on Tyrantor Rex. He's fine. Thanks for asking. I was getting to it. I think we gotta go out there and check. See if there's any more. You go first. You're already bleeding. If you would've just let me in like I asked. That window was closed for a reason. Maybe you should give me a key. Maybe if you wouldn't keep making copies of other people's keys, I wouldn't have to give you a fake one. We need to go somewhere safe. Donnie, you go first. I'll be okay without you for a little bit. Just a bit. No, 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 no. I'll rock, paper, scissors for it. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Shit. Paper speed rock. But it's no cloud I. I guess I'm going out there, Doc. <sighs> Wish me luck, Doc. Good luck, you dummy. Is he gone? Jeez, what a dump. Smells like something died in here. Looks like he was trying to board the place up. I don't think it worked out too well. Tommy? Tommy? Looks like you're right about the cameras. I wonder how long he's been gone for. I wonder if he knows. Beer bottle's still cold. Must not have been too long. Yeah, well, we can't be here too long either. I'm gonna go look for weapons. You see if you can find any food. Sounds good. I'll take a look around. Tommy? Francis?
Looks like we're all clear, Doc. For now, at least. That's good news, Donnie. These brittle bones are tired. I haven't walked these halls, or any hall, really, in a very long time since I taught at that academy. Killstone Academy, years ago. Hey, Doc, isn't that that, uh, school for the mentally gifted? Uh... I didn't say I attended there, Donnie. I taught there. Geology. These kids were nuts. They love rocks. They love anything to do with the Earth. They would try constantly trying to put these rocks in their mouth. I said, stop that! They try to stack it on their foreheads. Listen, Donnie, field trips were the adventure. It sounds like they were, but it was a lot of fun. Indeed it was, Donnie. Indeed it was. But I'll tell you what. It's time now for Tyran Turtle's Rex walk. He's been in my pocket all day. Time for him to stretch his legs. Are you ready, fella? OK. Now don't go too far. I'll miss you when you're gone. Hey, Doc. Yeah. Why is he still here? Cause Donnie, I couldn't just leave him back home in a new wild world with raptors. He won't last five minutes. No less out of his cage or out of my pocket. He would die almost immediately. You know, you're probably right. I mean, look at the little fella go. That's right, Donnie. He is small for his size. Great observation. Now, I'm going to rest my eyes for a minute. Why don't you go find me a nice book to read? All right, Doc. Sounds good. Don't sleep too long. Thanks, Donnie. I can't promise anything. book I found. This is exactly what we need, Donnie. Good work. We need to read about our adversaries. Figure out his weakness and strengths and how we take him down. You read my mind, Doc. We've got to take these supplies back to our group at the high school. You two need to join us. We can't. i got to find my wife. Headed south. Well, we can give you a lift. No, we can't. We don't have enough gas to get down south and then back to the school. Well, I guess you're on your own then. Best of luck out there. We should have made them come with us. They won't stand a chance out there. You're right, but we can't force them to do anything. Plus, we got our own people to worry about. to help them now. Plus we have our own people to worry about. All right, so what do we know? They're fast, they're smart, right? They eat almost anything, yes. and they have six inch talons. Donnie, you're absolutely correct. But what else? They were taken out by a meteor. It's only a theory, but Another theory is that they were taken out by an ice age. Yeah. That's preposterous, Donnie. We need something else, something to create a new ice age. We need something from science to help us with our little problem. And I think I know the answer, Donnie. Aha! Nitrogen, Donnie. Nitrogen. That's exactly what we need. Nitrogen? How's nitrogen going to help us? Donnie, nitrogen in its gas state is pretty much useless, but in its liquid form, it is... Extremely cold. Ding, ding, ding! We can use it to make traps until the others get back. Exactly, Donnie, and that is the plan. Sounds like a good one to me, Doc. What was that? Donnie, grab Tyran Turtle Rex. We gotta get out of here. Oh, 
like we have bigger problems on our hands now. I hope those two idiots are still alive. What are they doing? It almost looks like they're, they're planning. Do you really think we can take them all? Well, we're gonna have to. Unless you just want to give up now. Do it for that. Science has saved us once again. They called me crazy. They kicked me out of this school. We made this here. It looks like they were getting ready to preserve something. We are preserving the future of our generation. Generations to come. Donnie, what do you got there? Liquid nitrogen. Tell the folks at home what do you have. Liquid nitrogen. Liquid. Liquid. Nitrogen. Guess what that is? Cold. It's cold. It's so cold. Guess what this is? It's accelerant. It's accelerant. It makes it colder. Drink it. Bring it on down. As you saw, the explosion you just witnessed. All these popsicles. Dino pops. What are we gonna do today? Live. We're gonna live today, tomorrow, the rest of our lives. So, so did you guys get anything good? What the hell was that, you two? What all were you guys doing when we were gone? Something meaningful for mankind. We had to do something. No, so really, what were you guys able to get? Well, we did find some supplies in the truck now. Thing is, we, uh, we found others. Others? Thing is, uh, they didn't make it. We had to run them with the raptors. God, it's worse than I thought, Donnie. As unfortunate as that is, at least we have supplies now. So what do we do then? Just bomb them with these nitrogen things? Yeah, exactly. But we don't have much. We have to conserve them. The south and east hallways are blocked, but I did catch a glimpse of that big one out there. A blue one? That's yeah. him. Yeah, we had a run in with him and his buddies. We were getting supplies. He's quite the specimen. He's huge. Yeah, we think he's the leader of this raptor gang. Well, it's simple then. We kill him, and the others die. That doesn't make any sense. That's not how this works, Francis. This isn't some sort of parasitic virus. These aren't just raptor larvae inside of a bird's body. You better hope these things work. And you guys came up with this how? That's not important right now. We have bigger things going on around us we need to take care of. So, you all gonna be okay by yourself here for a few minutes? I mean, I think so. Why? What are you doing? You plan on leaving yeah. us soon? Just, just for a few minutes. I gotta go out to the truck and get what we left behind. No. I'll go. For 30 years I've protected, lived, trying to pass on my knowledge, my expertise in science, in science-related fields. Donnie, you've proven yourself worthy to follow in my footsteps and I need you to carry on. Bo, Francis, you've done it enough. Enough sacrifice for one day. Let someone else take the weight. Whatever you do, protect my daughter. Scientists before me have made great discoveries that benefited mankind. And what am I gonna leave? A blood stain on the pavement. You don't have to worry about that, Doc. 
You've got this. I'll be right here. Francis, I don't know if I can do this. But I have to. For mankind. For science. Raptors, you know, especially with one hand. Yeah? Well, how many have you killed with that thing? Uh, none. Guys! Guys! It's the professor! He's gone. He didn't make it five steps out the door when he started eating, eating him like it was some kind of steak. Shit! So what's plan B? There's even more of him out there. Not for long there isn't. Bo! No! Damn it! What the hell was he thinking? I don't know, but we better start doing some thinking of our own. Dear Lord. That's not good. Donnie! Get through the roof! Francis! I should have never grabbed that rock. I should just stick to Scaff. What am I gonna do? Jesus Christ! There he is. That's the Alpha. That's it! work. Today's forecast, extremely cold. Everybody chill. Oh no. Ah oh, crap! The pin got stuck, goddammit! It's game time, baby! Woo! Oh, holy crap, you made it! Hell yeah, I am! Pin stuck. It won't blow. Oh! You've always been a Butterfingers. Donnie, help! I know what I have to do.
I'll save you, Bo. I'll save you, Bo. Teach you raptor bastards. Hey, Doc, how you doing? Get some more coffee? No, Sonny, thank you. Thank you. These meds are working wonders. But I am a little warm. They said they'd do that. Ah, much better. Much better. That's good. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that. Say, I haven't seen a Tyrannosaurus Rex in a while. How's this little fella doing? Well, Donnie, I haven't seen the little guy since the high school. But I do miss him. I wonder what he's up to. I do too. I miss a little fella. I wish he was here, I'd give him some love right now. That makes two of us. So Doc, I've uh, been meaning to ask you, how, how exactly did you get out of that alive? And from what I understand, it was a pretty tight spot and you're basically already dead. That I was, until I took one of those small jugs out of my coat. As soon as I could free my bloodied arm, I'd sealed the cap and set it at my feet. It killed those bastards, but it nearly took my arm and leg off. Luckily, I only lost a leg. Yeah, that is pretty lucky, I guess. I'm glad you're okay, Doc. I don't think I could finish school without my favorite professor being there. Oh. Well, that's quite flattering, Donald. You know, only, only my dad calls me that. I know, Donnie. I know. Back with traffic and weather after this.